of like hypertensive medication? We donate it. We try to bring as much as we can so that they don't last in the year. But the problem is, like that woman today, about her blood pressure, she was on um, they, they, uh, made it for two milligrams um, every day. And her blood pressure was perfect. And then I noticed in the chart that her blood pressure had gone up suddenly. So I spoke with Pearl and I said, they decreased her blood pressure. She said, well, I ran out of the two milligrams and I only had four milligrams. So instead, I've been giving her four milligrams every three days. I said, well, her blood pressure is like... 160 over nine. Yeah, you know, and it's been that way since you've done that. And um, so we said, can we at least... And then, you know, you don't want to... Um, Step on their toes, yeah. that type of thing. But you say, can you, can you at least... You know, how about every other day? They only supply certain things and only certain medications where yeah. people can get them for free. Otherwise, everything else is paid out of pocket. Yeah. So I don't think that their services are all that great, but I'm wondering if she can get certain antihypertensive medications from them. I don't know. She probably could. I hope so. But sometimes they still charge them a fee. And so, because of all the rain, people have been out of work, so they might not, one, be able to get down sure. to the city to sure. afford even getting down yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, because the bus costs money, and two, I mean, even a little bit, you know, a little bit or whatever, or two. It's a huge yeah. deal. I mean, to get water put into a house was only 50 Sometimes they still charge them a fee. And so, because of all the rain, people have been out of work, so they might not, one, be able to get down sure. to the city to afford even getting down there. And then, um, because the bus costs money, and two, I mean, even a little bit, you know, a little bit or whatever, or two. It's a huge yeah. deal. I mean, to get water put into a house was only $50. You now, for us, it's like, ah, oh, that's nothing, but that's half of their... Yeah. Annual salary. Right? Annual salary. Five hundred dollars. Yeah. Average. Average annuals. That's right. Yeah. Average. Yeah. Well, have you guys been? You guys haven't had a chance to go into any of the houses. Not yet. But one of the houses. Actually, yesterday, like it was a dirt floor, and um, it just you know she it just looked the epitome of suffering mm. and, and this woman still had an amazing spirit she really did yeah. so yeah the the resources here we have no idea we are so lucky i mean they didn't even have glass or anything to cover the window it was just open no lights it was all dark wow. it was very dingy dirty the two i think there were two beds in yeah. two rooms two beds in the whole house yeah. That's in one room. She slept in one, and there was some gentleman sleeping on the other. And who, you know, who knows? Oh. It's like a family that lives there. Yeah. So who knows? Right. Yeah. Wow. So resources around here are scarce. Yeah. It's just so much poverty. Like you see some people, um, like Professor Zoila's house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was nice. But then you hear about that woman um, up in the mountains. What's the boy's name? Um, Mateo's. Mateo's mother. Mm -hmm. And they don't have any water. And they're drinking out of the stream. They don't even have rainwater. Um, they, they don't even have a pot right? to boil that water. Yes. Yeah. They don't have a pot to boil the water. And they have, you know, like a hole out back to go look at it. And it's like, you think about it, and for them, like a bus ride, and because of the floods, they can't work in the fields, a bus ride would be impossible. Right. You guys haven't been afraid to touch anyone, or it doesn't mm -hmm. seem that you've been afraid But to you know what, though? That's years of nursing, too. Yeah. And then you get really used to it. You know what? You can wash it off. Yeah. I mean, as long as it's not blood and you don't have an open cut. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're careful, but yeah. both of us were also schooled before universal precautions, yes. before um, mm -hmm. you had to gown up and glove, yeah, and, yeah. which is not, I and mean, we should be just as careful and we sure. should be worried because sure. you can get. You can catch, you know, bugs, you can catch, we should be scared, but, um, you know, part of it is, too, you kind of know, well, you can wash it off, and, well, we've probably both had scabies, and we've probably both had, you know what I mean, from touching people, but it's like that, your heart tells you you want to touch someone, yeah, because yeah. it just seems cold out, too. And you really got to put your fear aside and just trust that, you know, taking the proper precautions, you'll yeah. be okay. Yeah. And it's part of nursing care, yeah. really, to, you know, step outside of yourself and to be very present for the patient. And when you are present, there's no way you can show, yes. like, disgust or right. whatever. Because if you do, they pick, I mean, they're, pick up they're so sensitive to it. Sure. So. You know, each fly in this room intimately. I don't want you to realize. I know. Each what? Fly. Each fly. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna miss it? <laughs>